hi hello welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to unbox this soil moisture sensor let's open it wow so pretty very small very small maybe this is uh, two two inches or two and a half inches this this is the alignment board and uh, you have wires too okay nice okay let's see how we're going to use this in our project today so i'm going i'm trying going to experiment uh, this solid sensor moisture sensor in two ways with arduino and without arduino and how many ways that we can use the solid moisture it's going to be very interesting let's quickly get into the chapter thank you okay now we have these two things here this is the uh, stem that goes into the soil so this is the sensor part and this is the the board that sends communicates to the arduino accordingly it can glow light okay the first model that we are going to do is without arduino how can we use this that's our first model so let's get that started so let's connect this up Okay, one is done and this one, the two leads are here, so there's no polarity here, you just need to connect it like this. Okay, we are done with it. Now, let's have our soil here. So, this is my soil and uh, so I'm going to use this for the experiment. Let's put this into it. So, I have not poured water into it. Let's see what's the output. Okay, let's keep that aside. Now we'll use our, I said without Arduino, so I'm going to use this 9 volt battery here. So uh, 9 volt, let me connect this to one, one hole of this. Okay, now that we have done. Since I'm using 9 volt here, this sensor board, this will operate in 5 volt. So we should be very careful. We should either use a regulator to uh, reduce 9 volt to 5 volt so i'm not going to use any regulator i'm just going to use one resistance here uh, it's 1.5 k ohms resistance so i'm going to connect it like to the positive terminal like this okay now i've connected 1.5 k the first lead here if you turn this board here you can read here yes now it's visible okay uh, there are four LEDs. If you turn the board, you can see VCC in the first tire, first uh, terminal, second is the ground, the third is the digital, and the fourth is the analog. So I'm going to connect, uh, let's say I'm going to connect the gray to the ground, okay? Gray wire to the ground. Okay, I'm going to use this one for Yes, now we have connected. Let's power the board, okay? So be very careful when you're powering it here. So use plus for plus and minus minus we'll have to use it here right yes the board is up so which means now this board power led is glowing so one led is glowing let me close this so power so one led is glowing that's power so which means it has it has the board has received its power okay now let's check this moisture i'm going to just pour some water into this yes. keep watching it here so the moment when the soil is wet you will see one more led glowing here okay let's have the close view here i'm going to pour this like this inside this can you see this yes I have a doubt whether it's working or not so what we're going to do is we're just going to hold this both with the user and see the light is going my suspect was clear now it's nothing is happening can you see this light glowing yes when both are contact i see the light glowing so which means so i have to wait for some more time for the soil to get moisture right yes can you see this one more led is glowing let me close this power led so that you will be able to see this another one okay so when the soil is wet or drenched 
now you see this this is in contact and it's glowing okay let me remove this water and come okay. back okay. i'm going to try this now let me see this let me have this board in hand and uh, let's try this let me cover up this power yes now it's working okay right this is with the without the arduino now you connect this to the arduino you can have the sensitivity to how to how much it should react okay here too we have the sensitivity here so let's tune that up first now this i want the sensor to act when this much is wet on the soil so how do we do that so we need to align the potentiometer here so just hold this and then turn the knob to the side okay so i'm going to just turn this so the moment when the led glows yes we have set it up so now the other led is going which means our sensitivity is too high so it will react to this so this much wet also it will react or you don't want to, to react for this much wet only for dry wet then you have to turn this knob like this so i'm going to turn it like this so it's not going to react okay even this is wet now can you see this it's too wet but when i put the soil this thing into it it's not reacting it's not reacting because my sensitivity is too high now i want it to have more water onto it only then this will work so i can reduce the sensitivity here so how much sensitivity i want i can reduce it here like that so the next time you know that okay when this much of wetness is there in the pot it will give you this led so what if this led is glowing i want to exchange this led to somewhere else not on the board how do we do that so let's do that with a simple led okay let's take a small led like the small uh, led this led consumes less power so we have a smaller size led like this you can parallelly connect it like this you know under the board i'm showing it on the board but you can solder it okay, let me connect it like this okay now can you see this red light is glowing so you need to solder this led on on just the same place where this led is there so this led will glow that's one idea of it or you think you have a buzzer or something where you want to make noise you can always do that you know so let's use an arduino now and see how we could do this in arduino okay. yes now we have this board here so we're going to bring in arduino uno here okay so one more two more wires we need to connect uh, in the board you have two more pins just turn this board you will see analog first is the digital here and the last pin or the first pin is the analog input so first let's look at the digital how we are going to use this in digital so in digital i'm going to connect any digital pin so let me use seven as digital pin okay and uh, we need to give the power supply for these five volt and uh, ground to the board so let's power the to our board uh, okay i'm going to insert this here and uh, parallelly i'm going to open the serial monitor here let's see what's output now it says one 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 that's the initial value so i'm going to insert this into the thing so which means it's already high now let me put this into it now it's zero okay so but it is working the other way right so when it is high when it is conducting it is giving us zero so that is how the the pin works so you need to initially it will be high so when when they are connecting when there's moisture is is available then it turns to zero so when it's not available it is zero uh, the output is one when it is available soil mo uh, soil moisture is good then it will be zero so you have to tune your coding accordingly that's it so that's one and uh, let's see the analog okay before we go to the analog let's see uh, connect an external led and see or buzzer just to make to add up uh, you know add a fun to our project okay i'm going to use this one small led uh, i'm going to use this 
we are not supposed to use this directly on the board but sometimes it doesn't happen but properly we should not use this on the board but okay for just a one time project i'm going to use this but you are going to do any project as permanent project that is time you have to change use a resistance to the led now we have done uh, okay now we need to code this up like uh, so we are going to use another pin so we are using a pin number pin mode let me add one more thing pin mode then pin number 12 is output semicolon that's it now we are going to go to our code loop then uh, so delay is one so here i'm going to just say if i'm going to say if uh, button state uh, button state uh, button state equal to zero so when it is zero that means the moisture is there so i'm going to just go and say i'm going to say digital digital right and open the pin number pin number 12 as high and uh, so I'm going to close it like this and then I'm going to say else else open the bracket digital right pin number 12 as low close the bracket and then close the loop as well so that's it let's compile this and uh, upload this code to the board so what is it expected uh, yeah we have we, we have closed there so we don't need this one to close this okay. delete that and let's see compile it again done compiling let's upload this to the board and uh, let's check yes it's uploaded now our led is glowing because we need to just pull this out okay now open our serial monitor as well so that we'll know what is the status so now the pin is one so you will not because i have taken it out so i'm going to insert it now then it's zero so when it's zero you can see this led is glowing so if it's a buzzer it's going to make a noise let's add some buzzer also okay now we have set our bazaar here and uh, let's see that uh, i'm going to insert this let's also closely watch our serial monitor now you have the bazaar beeping out beep sound okay it's going to be loud so be careful so you have one led glowing here and you have a bazaar here and the serial monitor is going zero so now you can so what if i want to okay what if i want to make a sensitivity instead of tuning it here now as i as i've showed you i want to i can tune this knob here to increase the sensitivity of the moisture i can decide how much should the moisture be there in the soil i can do this here or i can do it in analog when i'm using an analog input i don't have to do it here i can do it there in my code. let's see how we could do this in analog signal okay now uh, i have to just uh, remove this digital and i'm going to use this uh, the last pin black uh, let's connect it to one of the analog pin it's connected to what pin is that a01 a2 a2 okay let's go to our code let's close this serial monitor let's go to our code and uh, now we will say we have to just include one more here in the analog state uh, uh, okay analog analog state i'm going to analog state equal to analog analog read in number a2 close it like this and uh, let's read the analog value instead of digital i'm going to read the analog signal value here. yes it's done now i'm going to upload this you must be wondering why why this guy has not uh, written input mode to the setup usually we do that but sometimes uh, uh, for analog we don't have to do that 
Um, so we don't have to define that to the board. Let's upload it. Okay, now we have done with it. Let's open our serial monitor. Okay, now uh, the reading here shows that it's 339, which means when they're conducting, the resistance value is uh, shown here as 340. Now we can decide like how much should be the sensitivity. Like uh, when it's 500, you want the beep to beep or you want to beep it when it is uh, fully dry or the more you go inside, it's like uh, the more wet it is. The more I bring it outside, the value is the other way. Usually when you put it inside, it should increase, but it works the other way. Now let's open our serial monitor, done uploading. Now it is 10501, let me see, it is less than such that it will make a noise or if I have a motor like this solenoid motor water pump like this I can connect and then water the plant I can do that as well so I'm not going to cover that in this video maybe in the higher other version of our class we will have this when I am going to teach uh, a relay I'm going to teach this at that point okay this is the class and uh, hope you really enjoyed uh, doing this project do let me know uh, in the comment box how you felt about this class. Was it useful with Arduino and without Arduino? Thank you and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.